how China is trying to invade Taiwan. This ain't no speculation or warning. Right now, China has surrounded Taiwan by sea and air. It's creepy as fuck, too. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hope everyone's having an excellent day. Let's get to the videos. I learned anything uh, traveling for work is that black bears are afraid of tasers. That's what I learned when I lived in New Hampshire for a couple of months. But oh, that's crazy. Could you imagine coming home and the bears start chasing you? That's some scary stuff. And for the shark, yeah, that's why I don't even get in the water. Oh my fucking god, dude. I'm gonna get shot, dude. Why are they pointing guns at me? <laughs> Officer, please don't. See? That's exactly why I don't get in the water. I don't know if you guys have watched River Monsters before, but that's what this reminds me of. As far as the other video with Vitaly, I'm sure it's not showing the whole story that he's a very controversial figure, so. A construction video. Mm. Did you see that? It's trending on TikTok right now. Nah. There was a guy on the construction site that was working on moving like, you know those big wheels, those wooden wheels? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need like at least three people to move it. There was a guy on site that offered him help. So the guy's like, okay, uh, let's just move it over here to where it's supposed to be. They're rolling it and they turn this corner. And as soon as the guy moves it into place, the guy that was helping him disappeared. And the guy asked the coworker, yo, did you see who was helping me? He's like, damn, no one was helping me. Oh. The only way the wheel would even move was because you, you, it's impossible to yes, do by yourself. Exactly. So they all chilled. They all started chilling in the office where like they eat lunch. Yeah. And there's a picture mm -hmm. of like a worker there. And the guy goes, that's him. That's oh, the guy. That's the guy who helped there's, me. There's an old picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On it, some shining. Yes. Oh. In the office. You know what the other co worker says? Yeah. He's like, that guy's been dead since 2015. Damn. And in the footage, like, you know how like when you're talking to someone, you like kind of command them. Yeah. Move it a bit this way. Move it a bit that way. Jose, the guy, was commanding that guy the whole time. I feel sorry for the ghost. He's still working after death. Man, that's that's really sad. That is a terrifying situation, but that had to happen. That's extremely random. That's what I mean by I feel like life can just be so random. I like those people are okay though, at least. This is worse than the fully conscious baby. Why is this dog self-aware? Bro is sitting on the stairs contemplating life. What could bro seriously have to think about? Blood looking out the window like he's stressed about paying taxes or something. That's how you know his life has been rough. Imagine you're about to take your dog out for a walk. You're like, Fido. Come here, boy. He looks at you in the eye and says, Not now, human. I'm contemplating where I shall lay my next dookie. Bro, listen to Feral the dogs and can't get her sent off his mind. The craziest part about bro is that he's sitting on the stairs like a human. Bro got his owner so terrified he's creeping behind walls, trying to catch this on cam. Like, bro, call the CIA. Soon as the dog noticed he's being filmed, the jig is up. Bro tries to pretend like he's a dog again. Nah, you can't gaslight me, Scooby-Doo. We got video evidence. Yeah, buddy. You're done. If you witnessed your dog doing this, what would you do? Me, honestly, I'm switching to put cats. I'm switching to cats. Leave honest answers only in the comments, my boy. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, share, and follow for more updates. The way that dog was sitting, it didn't seem like it was human. I also like how the dog, like once the dog realized the human was there, it switched up so fast. Strong enough to lift those porta potties and send them flying. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, it's like right in front of her. Oh my god. I think we all can agree the one that's on the screen right now is CGI. The other ones, Mother Nature looks so beautiful, but it's so deadly. If you have ever been in a situation dealing with storms and dangerous nature, let me know in the comments below. I would love to read it. I know I'm not seeing things, but wait. Wait for it. Come on. It's creepy as fuck, too. We do not need clowns to come back like they did a few years ago. Please, no. Please tell me this is a joke. I'm, like, afraid of clowns, so definitely don't want to see that. I actually saw clowns when I was a kid in the woods in the late 90s. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so afraid of them. Oh, and Are You Afraid of Dark? I'm showing my age here, but yeah, Are You Afraid of Dark? The episode, with, I think the clown was Bozo or something like that. This is the moment we have all been waiting for. Not only did American Idol close off their finale with Christian singers, but Katy Perry, among with other guests, were seen feeling All my life you have been faithful All my life I now if you guys remember she had mentioned on how bad she wanted to become a christian singer but instead ended up going the whole different route i, swear I wanted to be like the amy grant of music yeah <laughs> but it didn't work out and so i sold my soul to the devil. this comes to show that we are all just seeking peace and if you want a relationship with god you are never too far gone Never too late for her to, to be a gospel singer. I mean, she already had the voice and uh, she's already popular, so I think she could transition into it very well. Obviously, not as much money, but there's way more things in life that are more important than money. Did this rocket just prove that space is fake? Do you have lift off? Okay, it's going. I paid very close attention to when this rocket breaks out of the bubble. How I feel that Here we go. Watch this. I thought it was something really weird. Pay attention. Oh, what is that? If anyone can explain what this is, please let me know. Thanks for watching. And stay weird. So check out this Tesla conspiracy theory out, y'all. And you're going to get a kicker out of this. Listen to this. A good conspiracy theory I think might be true. Last week, a Tesla crashed through a wall of my house. I was home when it happened. The first thing I did was check to make sure my roommate was okay. Then I called 911. Then I went outside and started taking pictures of the crash. My first picture was at 5.07 p.m. My first picture of the tow truck drivers trying to take the Tesla out of here was at 5.10 p.m. It had literally just happened minutes earlier. And so I was like, hey, can we pause for a second? Like the cops are on their way right now. And the tow truck driver actually said to me, F you. and I was like, what? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, 
My house just got ran into. Have some empathy. And no joke, he goes, here's your empathy. And I was like, oh my God, you're being that much of a dick right now? And he goes, get the f*** out of my way. And then he shoved me and he threatened to beat me up and kill me if I didn't let him get the car out of there. So my question is, is Tesla's automatic crash system alerting tow truck drivers? And are they offering them a bunch of money to get the car out of a situation before news cameras show up? They don't want any more negative press because those tow truck drivers were here so fast and they were so aggressive, there had to be a bunch of money on the line. When you have that Elon Musk money, you can guarantee that tow trucks get there before the cops do to take care of the situation. But that right there is a crazy incident. Has anybody else ever experienced something like this, y'all? This is the first I've ever heard of this. And he literally has timestamps to show us what happened in the pictures. The tow truck was there at 510, literally three minutes after the crash. So unless that tow truck was chasing that car, then I don't see how that's possible, y'all. But let us know down in the comments below what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting times. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. I don't know much about uh, insurance claims or old trucks or anything like that. If you if you do, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. But I know Tesla received a lot of bad press over the years. Especially like the awful driving have caused a lot of accidents, etc. So... Yeah, I can see why he would want to get rid of the press. If I'm not mistaken, Tesla numbers are down anyway. I, I could be wrong. I think last year they did really good, but I think so far this year, the sales are declining. I think it's because everybody who loves that type of um, technology or love Elon Musk, they already got the cars. So now they had to keep cutting the prices down uh, lower and lower to get, you know, the, the casual person who's not crazy about that type of stuff to, to, get, to get the cars. <laughs> Call in one call. I'll call. That is so random. And the fact that the other person who was driving left his friend or associate of it is insane. The right spot. Look at this. This area is filled with books about pretend people. That's right, Grover. This is the fiction section. Fiction means it's a made-up story. Oh, hey, Elmo, I bet we can find your Galactic Gale comic book here. Oh, boy, Elmo, hope so. <laughs> hey, Grover, this is the fiction section. Fiction means it's a made-up story. <sighs> I should have known. target the good in all of us. Fiction means it's a made-up story. I would have never fallen for that. Everyone knows about that scam. What were you thinking? This is the fiction section. Fiction means it's a made-up story. Catfished. Ugh, now it seems so obvious. To yes, 100% agree. I just they run out of anecdotes, you know, yeah. and they and uh, and they just start making stuff up. Yeah. Like that Neil Armstrong guy. Have you seen him on the talk shows? Neil Armstrong. You mean the first man to walk on the moon? Talk about a fish story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, and they're buying it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no way. I don't know, I feel like in that scene, Jim Carrey was a troll, but you never know. I love watching him, so I can't tell if he's serious or not. That's how good of an actor he is. As far as the Sesame Street, I mean, yeah, that's pretty funny that they put the, put the globe next to the fictional. I'm still not buying the whole Flat Earth, though. So you know how they have arranged marriages in India, y'all? You never know what you are marrying. You never know what you're putting into your family. Look at this possession. Look at this. Look. Oh my goodness, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Let me slow it down for you guys. Look at this. You can tell this is not natural. Just the way that look, the way that she's looking from the corner of her eyes. Like it's, what the hell? Bro, are you kidding me? Nah, no, that is, that is a demon in there. That is literally a demon in there. And they look really scared. They look, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at this. 
Is this what they mean by love is blind? Because if that's the case, y'all, I really don't want to see this ever in my life. Are you kidding me? Because I don't know what I'm bringing to my house. This is not a regular person. That is an entity in there. Look, like if you're about to be married, why would you treat your husband like this? Nah, yeah, no. Remember, these portals are open now. And now we're going to start seeing these entities, these demons, right? They told us about this on the news. Demon face, get ready for that. And since then, we have been seeing a lot of activity just spiking. Y'all let me know what you guys think about this video, y'all. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times. Like, comment, and share for more videos like this. Thank you for tuning to my frequency. Let's get this shift. Now, what if she's acting like that so she don't get uh, married? Just put that out there. Maybe she don't want to be uh, married to these to whoever she's supposed to be getting married to. Maybe that's why she's acting like that. Or, obviously... She's possessed. It's a possibility. I mean, the way she was looking, it didn't look normal like at all. And the way that people reacted, it definitely seemed genuine. I don't think that's fake. But I'll leave it up to you to decide if you want to believe that she's faking it because she don't want to be in the marriage or it's real. Let me know what you think in the comments. Yo, in case y'all didn't know, China is trying to invade Taiwan. This ain't no speculation or warning. They're actually finna do this shit. Right now, China has surrounded Taiwan by sea and air with warships and aircraft. And the U.S. said that it's going to go to war with China in order to keep Taiwan. According to the Chinese Defense Ministry, they said they're going to launch an attack on Taiwan in early June. Earlier this morning, U.S. troops in Taiwan are on full alert. China has surrounded the rogue province of Taiwan and all its islands for what it calls the punishment drill. I don't know if y'all know who this is, but this is Kai Sinat and one of his close friends, Ray. Ray is from Taiwan and he can't even come to the U.S. because he said he's forced to go into the military in Taiwan. That shit's sad, bro. Like I said before, this is not a speculation. This shit is really about to go down. This is really about to happen. So guess what? I'm ready. Because guess what? I've been playing Call of Duty. I've been playing Call of Duty. I'm a vet when it comes to Call of Duty. And I'm very experienced in the field. I know you're making light of the situation, but this is no laughing matter. I actually looked that up while I'm recording this video. And from what it looked like, it looked like it was just a training drill for China. But they did have Taiwan, like, surrounded. So, I mean, they did say they was going to do it. So, I wouldn't be surprised. At some point, they do. Man, that's not looking good. You got the Middle East fighting. Now you got this going on. Man, I, we do not need a World War Three right now. Please. <laughs> Oh, that just felt like teeth. That just felt like teeth. Uh, cut the camera off. No, no, I'm not filming it. Turn it. You already know what I'm about to say. You need to get out of that house. The, the teeth, I mean, the feeling like something biting you and now that. No, if it's real. If it's not real, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. What do you think? This is the last thing anyone expected. People were furious after Northwest was chosen to play on the 30th anniversary of Lion King instead of this kid. Now, as you can see, this little kid is giving what it's supposed to give. Now, let's see how Northwest does. Now, you can obviously see why people are big mad because at the end of the day, there are way more talented kids out there who are dying for this position.
while, something really weird is going on in the world. Do you remember that strong storm and flooding in Dubai? Well, you know, the sky turned green while it was going on. But that's not the only thing going on in the skies. Every day on TikTok, I'm seeing some kind of glitch or some kind of crazy change in the sky. Every day. Now, I do have a hypothesis for this that we'll get to in a minute. But this has been going on for about a year all over the world. So what I'm wondering is, is the sky a projection? And that brings me to another thought. I know y'all have seen this, the Vatican prepares guidelines for apparitions and other supernatural phenomena. But I want you to know something very, very particular. Appearance or communication with divine beings such as saints, angels, or Christ himself. It seems like we're about to see something that says that they're Christ. I remember one dream as a child, and it was being overtaken, the whole entire sky was overtaken by UFOs, and I remember it so vividly. I don't remember any dream as a kid, but that one. And as an adult, I had basically the same exact dream, except they were descending upon New York. Now, do y'all remember where it allegedly came out that NASA had hired theologians? Well, you know, you have the AP saying this did not happen, right? News 18 said it happened. The Hill said it happened. The Times said it happened. Now back to the apparitions of possibly even Christ himself. We know that Satan, the great deceiver, the prince of the air, can also manifest as an angel of light. And then when we had the eclipse, we literally had the devil's comet show itself. To me, my opinion, it kind of feels like Satan's getting ready to show himself, just not as himself. Being the prince and power of the air, would he not be able to control what the sky looked like? I'm just saying. What do y'all think? I showed you three out of thousands of... People have been saying this, these things since late 90s, and I've yet to see anything. I'm hoping none of this stuff is true and none of these things ever happen. Because I would hate for to be in a situation like that or anyone to be in a situation like that. There's over 400 cases, you know, that I'm aware of with collaborators that I work with, where these abductions have been halted by people calling on the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Now, I don't want to diminish people's experiences, but you know, I've had comments, well, you, you wear an aluminum hat or aluminium hat and that can keep them away and, you know, that type of stuff. No. And in the movie, we have the testimonies of these people who were having these experiences. They were terrified. And in the moment of terror, they re recalled or uh, called out to their childhood memories of who Jesus was. And the instant his name was called, it stopped. Okay. So why do these aliens respond to Jesus? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that indicates the spiritual nature of what is going on. So the evidence is spiritual. And then when we get to the level of abductions, deceptive messages are being given to people. But then when they're halted in the name of Jesus, that is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. And again, when I'm saying that we've now got hundreds of testimonies and I can't mention names, but I know people in the higher levels of UFO investigations mm. that actually readily acknowledge this, but because of their positions, they can't actually come forward and candidly reveal this. So in some respects, this is one of the best kept secrets. One of the guys, my but colleagues, my collaborators who worked on this, when he found this out, he wasn't a Christian at the time. And he kind of said, well, OK, what is it about Jesus that these aliens don't like? And he rang up his colleagues in MUFON and said, look, we think we found something. We've got these testimonies of people in the moment of their inductions. They, they said a prayer, they sang a, a, a psalm, a hymn, something, something Christian that was spiritual. And the abductions stopped. And... You know, so what is it about Jesus that they don't like? And he found out that his colleagues in MUFON already knew about it. Wow. And their simple answer was, okay, so aliens don't like Jesus. Big, big deal. So this is non-Christians in MUFON. Can you just say what, what does MUFON MUFON is Mutual UFO Network. It's yep. the world's largest UFO investigation group here in the U.S. All right, I got a situation that just happened, and I need somebody to kind of let me know if I'm tripping or not. So, picture. Yesterday, I went to go pick up my daughter from my mom's house because she was babysitting 
for a couple hours or whatever. So I'm on my way to my mom's house. I'm paying attention while I'm driving and I'm noticing that there's no cars behind me. Like it's just a regular day of driving. So as I turn down the street of where my mom stays, I notice a black SUV pull up behind me and they're driving down the street. So as I'm driving down the street, I'm going to the end of the street where my mom lives and the truck is just riding behind me. So as I'm pulling up to my mom's house, I'm turning off my lights because I'm stopping and I'm pulling up. As I look in my rear view, the SUV that was behind me, they pulling up, but they parking at the, the house that's across the street. Well, not across the street from my mom, but it's like one house over, one house down, and then they parked in the driveway. I never seen nobody get out the car, I never seen nobody get out the truck or whatever, but I got out because I have to go pick my baby up. So when I get out, I'm getting out just being mindful, you know, paying attention to my surroundings, checking my mirrors, and I got my phone in my hand because I'm calling my mom like, hey, uh, I'm outside, you know, I'm ready. And um, so my baby comes outside, my mom comes to the door, my baby runs outside, give me my hug, you know, everything is, everything is good, walk the man. So I get my baby strapped into her car seat, everything is cool. So I noticed that truck was still sitting there in that driveway, but I didn't think nothing of it because somebody lives there. Um, so I'm pulling off and when I pull off, I turn my lights back on and I put my car in drive and I'm getting ready to pull off. Ma matter of fact, before I even pull it off, my baby said some weird stuff to me and I, it just, it just didn't sit right with me. So one of the first thing my baby said when she got in the car was, it's going to be really sad, um, when everybody is monsters and I'm not going to know what to do. So I'm just going to cover my face up and I'm not going to let the monsters eat me. So we sat there and had the conversation because I'm like, baby, don't worry about nothing like that. Like I said, where did you come up with the idea? My baby's only three. I said, where did you come up with that? She said, I just thought of it on my own. I'm like, OK, you know, maybe it's from movies that we've been watching. I don't know. Like, I don't really try to watch movies like that. But sometimes my baby will get to clicking on that little Roku remote control and find her a movie. So um, she asked me that weird question that threw me off. So I didn't pull off immediately. So I pulled off maybe about two, three, four, five minutes later. As I'm pulling off, I turn my lights back on and I put my car in, in a drive and I'm pulling off. Now, like I said, I drove to the end of the street. Like, it's literally the next house over is the stop sign. So I pull off a little bit and as I'm pulling off and I'm heading towards the stop sign, I notice that black SUV that was behind me, they immediately cut their lights on and they pull out of the driveway right behind me. All right, so this is the part two and the final part to this story about the truck that was following me. Last thing that I told y'all in part one was that I got in my car, I was ready to pull off, and when I pulled off, I noticed that that truck pulled off exactly, like immediately after I was pulling out. Now, the, the trick to how I noticed the truck was pulling off when I pulled out was because when I pulled off, I had my lights off already. But when I pulled off, I didn't turn my lights on immediately. I turned them on as I was pulling off. And when I looked in my rearview mirror, I saw the truck hurry up and turn their lights on. It's like they turned their lights on and was throwing that bitch in reverse at the same time. Very clockable. So that's how I knew it was some weird ass shit. So by this time, I'd have made it to the end of the stop, the end of the street with a stop sign. And at the end of the street with a stop sign, you gotta make a left or you gotta make a right. There's no going forward, you gotta go left or go right. So I pull up to the side a little bit because the truck done swooped up behind me like it's a narc, like it's an undercover or something. I ain't doing nothing, I ain't got no business doing so. I'm like, bitch, if you're a police, you're finna do your lights like the blue the uh, blue and red lights or whatever to come on but in a split second like i just realized this is not a narcotic because they would have been turned their lights on and plus i don't have nothing so i'm i'm on uh the phone with my og because she don't finally pick up the phone and i'm telling her like hey just hold on a second because this truck is still behind me like my mama hearing the commotion because i'm telling them go around me like i got my baby in the car move move around i was having my baby in the back seat she just listening she don't know what's going on so i'm like ma hold on just hold on a second because this truck is sitting behind me so i'm waving out my window go around go around and i'm looking at her like go around and they, I said it, and they sat there for a second, cut the lights off on the SUV, and then cut them back on, and then proceeded to go around me. So I'm looking at the truck trying to see who it is, and trying to, you know, just clock some. I couldn't see nothing because the windows were super tinted. And when, like I said, you got to go left, you go right at the stop sign. They make a left. I was going to the right anyway, but they make a left, and they mashed the gas. Like, it was very noticeable how the truck pulled off. Like, you really did not want me to see what was going on. So I wait there for a quick second, but then I'm not waiting for too long because I don't trust, I don't trust nothing. So I make sure ain't nobody following me. You know, I'm busting, I'm busting corners left and right, just trying to make sure I ain't got nobody following me because I don't even live nowhere near my OG. So if you follow me, baby, I hope you got some gas up in your car so I can make it back home. So I, right, so basically the whole point of me making my video is because I have a lot going on. You know, I do X, Y, and Z, but I have to be mindful. And it's not only just me that I got to be mindful about, but I have a child with me. And this is not just about me and my stuff. It's other people that might can relate to what I'm talking about. Like you probably been in a situation where you can't quite explain how you knew it was some weird stuff going on but you just need somebody to listen and understand like baby i felt what i felt and in that moment in time that shit was like very it was very weird and that was a situation like when i got off the phone with my mom i felt a lot better but it was just like the fact of knowing that somebody would be there and somebody would listen and somebody would hear me out because in that situation it's this is tricky situation like you can say oh i would have did this or i would have did that but if you're not in that if you're not in that position or if you're not right there when that should happen you don't really know what you would do in that position or in that time or whatever but um yeah i just want everybody to be aware of your surroundings i gotta be aware of my surroundings we just don't know in 2024 it's a lot of weird stuff going on i love everybody who loves me and i hope y'all have the best day ever thank you for listening to my story time and listening to me rant Peace. i just want to say that i'm happy that he wrote a text on a video saying that 
they made it home safe. But it sounded like to me, it sounded like it was gang stalking, or maybe it was this individual stalking or stalking the person who made this video for known reason. But I know that I had to be very terrified to be in a situation like that. So no, I don't think this person is tripping or anything. I think they're just a very self-aware person that was able to um, catch on to what was going on. But that's it for all the videos today. Hope everyone enjoyed and have an excellent day. See you guys next time.